Hey everybody, how's it going? Josh here, and throughout the movie Godzilla the Planet Eater, we're told numerous times, kind of hinted at in the beginning of the film, that Godzilla's kind of origin, his fate of sorts, his history, may be bound to humanity's history, and it may be a type of system where a lot of humanity views Godzilla as like this pest, this nuisance that came about, but maybe in the grand scheme of things, Godzilla was always destined to appear, and humanity was simply the puppets, if you will, that led to the circumstances that created a creature such as Godzilla. And the same is said also for the other kaiju that appear on Earth. Maybe it's possible that they were always the end game, and simply humanity was a vehicle to get to that point. Now, this is something that's hinted at, like I said before, in the beginning of the film, and not really brought up again until later on in the film by Mitzvies during the battle between Godzilla and Ghidorah. What he says is basically using his telepathy, he provides a mental journey to Haru, who's like the protagonist of the film, and he explains that XF's true intentions regarding why they came to Earth, their interactions with humanity, and why they summoned Ghidorah. And during that time and the, those illusions, it's actually a really cool scene, one of my favorite parts of the film, honestly, it's revealed that Earth isn't the first planet that a creature such as Godzilla or Godzilla himself, as we kind of know Godzilla as an entity, has appeared on. And it's said Godzilla is actually a part of a larger grand natural conclusion that is kind of the planet's natural way of cleansing civilization. So pretty much it's said that humanity cultivates the Earth over time and does things with technology and radiation and nuclear warheads, all those things through its pride and ambitions and ignorance, and eventually that basically makes it something harmful to the planet. From that, we get creatures that are mutated such as kaiju, but the real fruit of this cultivation is the being such as Godzilla, because Godzilla is basically the natural conclusion to civilization and kind of the end to basically everything more or less, it's kind of how it's portrayed. But at the end, they kind of put a twist on it where they say Godzilla's true intention doesn't have to be the end, but simply maybe the end of that cycle leading to a new cycle of life on that planet. It's kind of twisted because obviously when Godzilla appeared, humanity tried taking on the creature, did not work out, so humanity left. And then humanity came back, but obviously Godzilla in some way, shape or form was still present different kind of take on the character I think and also at the same time a different origin because the fact that Godzilla is not only a being that is destined to always appear through civilization's actions that's one interesting thing but the fact that Godzilla is not only the end game of I guess you could say the ecosystem but is something that happens on multiple different planets at least according to the EXIF I think that was a really interesting kind of twist on the Godzilla mythos. So what do you guys think? Comment below your guys thoughts. Do you think this would be something kind of cool to see in different interpretations of the character in future media? Obviously we're not probably going to see this in MonsterVerse but let's say they do a new animated kind of universe for Godzilla. Would this be something you'd like to see where there's Godzillas on different Earths and maybe from there we would get a Godzilla showdown from let's say Godzilla on planet X and Godzilla on planet Y, Godzilla on Earth, Godzilla on like Venus or something. It'd be really cool to see that kind of battle royale of sorts. Honestly, I would totally be down for that. But comment below your guys' thoughts, what do you guys think, and we'll see you guys later.